Hi family and welcome to my channel. I know I look crazy, I just filmed this uh, makeup look trying uh, this baby, but if you haven't seen this makeup look then please I will put a link down below or the card up here so you can watch me create this makeup look. But today I'm here to try uh, this mascara. This is La Mascara Cat Lash Design from Paris Berlin and I heard so many good things about this mascara and I really want to try. This says La Mascara Cat Lash Design creates full body, high volume and length lashes in a single stroke. Single stroke. Hmm. We'll see about that. The full contact brush and next texturizing complex features high sat saturated wax waxes and intense black pigments for maximum pumped up glamorous lashes. That sounds amazing. If it sounds amazing to you too, then please keep on watching. Well, I couldn't bring you closer. Now you can see all of my flaws, but I do not care. So this is, I hope, black. And I did bought this for a couple of months ago, guys, but I was lazy to try it out. No. I won't lie, I wasn't lazy. I had so many other mascaras that I already opened. I didn't want to open this boy's look. This is the first time I'm seeing this packaging. That looks great. It kind of look, feels light, feels cheap. The packaging looks stunning, but it feels light. So it feels a little bit cheap, but it doesn't look cheap. Mm. I like the packaging. So I'm going to first cho First, I'm going to switch battery because it's red right now. And then I'll uh, come back to apply this. These eyebrows don't look good. I care? No. Neither should you. So let's see this uh, mascara. So I already curled my lashes a little bit. And let's see the wand. Let's see the wand. Let's see the magic. Ooh, it's short. Um, not really what I expected. But we'll see. Oh, why did I smell this? Why did I smell these things? It feels so light. I'm scared that it's not going to have a lot of product in here. So let's see. <sighs> single stroke. This was a single stroke. Do you see the difference? Oh, why do you lie? So, I have a dot here. This is uh, one application and a couple of strokes, of course. Hmm, uh, I have to be honest, I'm trying out a lash serum that's supposed to make my lashes longer and fuller, so I'm not cheating, but I just say that this doesn't really make my lashes longer, so mm, not with the first coat, but I do like how it separated my eyelashes and gives me a little bit of volume, so I'll uh, do another coat. This is the second coat, and it definitely made a big difference. So, as you see, you can see this is the two coats, and this is one coat. So, it definitely made them a little bit longer now with the second coat. And it separated my eyelash, it gave me a little bit of volume. So, I really like, I like, I like, yeah, I do like this. It's, very, it's not liquidy formula, but it's very thin. The problem is when you went back with this mascara, the opening is so small, so it kind of took product a little bit out, so it's going to be a little bit messy. But let me clean up. So the eyelashes look stunning. It's now 11.45. I can see that on my computer, but my phone is downstairs. I'm not going to pick it up. I'm not going down to get it. 
but it's 11.45 and you won't have to trust me. And I do like how this mascara looks. I really, really like how it looks. Uh, it made my eyelashes longer. It did separate them, gave me some volume. It's lightweight. I don't feel like I have any mascara on and I do have a lot of it on my eyes. I really like how it looks. I'm going to wear it the whole day. I'm kind of scared that it's going to fleek and get kind of create some raccoon eyes. I hope not. My favorite mascara is empty so I do need a new mascara and I hope this one will work. But we'll see. So far so good. I like it. Hi everyone, I'm back with another lipstick. Now it's green in this shade, can't pronounce the name, but this is in the Cosmic Metallic. I like this shade. The, the Jeffree Star has a new lipstick, I think it's a matte, that I really want to try, but I can't find it anywhere to buy it. It's sold out everywhere, but I definitely want that shade, that um, kind of green army. I like that shade. Okay, so we are here to review the mascara. The mascara, it's this one, the Paris Berlin La Mascara Cat Lash Design. And uh, I can say, let me just take my mirror. Swish. Ooh, like, look like a shiny ball. Okay, let's see. Mm, let me zoom you in. So, what do I think about this mascara? Uh, it's not a lot of fallout. I can see a couple of dots here. I know if you can see it, but I can see them. When I take a closer look, though my makeup look still looks good, I'm surprised. Uh, let's see. I do have just a little bit black down here. It's nothing terrible. But it's more on this side. I don't know if you can see it. Can't wait to fix my nails next week. Uh, it's my nails are a little bit yellow because I just ate an orange. And when you peel an orange, for some reason my nails get yellow. I don't know if that happens to you guys, but it happens always to me. Here under my eyes is just a little bit black, and it's not the eyeshadow. It's actually the mascara. It's not terrible. It's still long, it still looks beautiful, it does give you a volume and the volume stand. I was afraid that it's going to kind of make my eyelashes fall down a little bit because I did apply a lot of mascara, but this is a very, not liquidy, but it's very thin formula of this mascara and uh, there is still some volume. They are still black and intense, I really like that. Uh, I don't know if you can see, it does have just a little bit of starting to look like a raccoon eye, but it's nothing terrible. Let me see if I can take it off with my fingers. You know, sometimes when I'm at work and I can see some black mascara, I like to do this to try to take it off. And yeah, it's easy to remove. So I do like it. I do like it. I really like this mascara, so I'll definitely continue using it because I do, do, do like it. So I think it was about 11.45 when I just applied this mascara and it's 20 past 6. And uh, it's around 6 hours, 6 and a half hour. And I think it looks good. I do think that it's going to start to wear down a little bit after maybe one or two hours more but I'm not going to have this on longer because I am going to wash my hair and put some mask in it and prepare myself to work I do have to work a little bit and I do have to fix some videos and have them on, up on my channel for this week so I do need uh, to work a lot and I do need to remove this makeup though I do love my eyeshadow today and it is believe me or, believe me or not subculture palette and the lipstick I do like it <laughs> I do like it I don't know I don't care what anybody else think I am into metallic lipsticks and I'm into glitter and shimmery everything shimmery this December and I 
was really waiting for this month so I can wear my metallic lipsticks. Uh, yeah. So I'll definitely, I'm definitely going to do that in my videos to play with color a little bit. Why not? I mean, you live once, just do what makes you happy, wear what makes you happy, and that is what I'm doing. Of course, I'm giving this a thumbs up. I really like, like, like this mascara. I will try to be, 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 bake under my eyes. I found like that makes my mascara not transfer too much. I did set it with some uh, infinity filter, infinity filter powder of uh, Linda Halberg. I really love that powder, but uh, I didn't bake under my eyes and I usually do that. So, like it, like it, like it, like it. So I give a thumbs up to this mascara and thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this video. If you did, don't give, don't forget to give a thumbs up. Don't forget forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll be a part of Didi family. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all and see you in my next video. Bye.